Let's work on our buttocks rig. So just to give you an idea of what we'll build, we'll create two joints and we'll make sure that their rotation is affected by the rotation of our thigh joints in a way that will of course preserve the section of the mesh. We'll also want to tie in the scale of those joints again just to assist in making sure that the character's buttocks will not cave in which is very easy to happen if there is no rig to prevent it from happening. All right, well, to get started, let's say we move over to our side view and we'll grab our joint tool. So we'll just create one bone. I'm holding down shift to make sure that the end joint is on the same plane as its root. And now we can go ahead and move this over in the x-axis. I'll go ahead and select the x-axis and snap to the left thigh. Okay, but we'll want to keep this height. Great, so at this point, let's go ahead and rename this. This is going to be BNL buttock 01. I'll copy the name and use that to rename the end joint. So this is going to be BE buttock end. Let's say we go ahead and zero out the orientation of this joint. Just going to the joint orient channels and taking care of that. And now we'll want to take this joint and parent to our hip joint, spine A. Okay, let's now go ahead and mirror this over. Feel free to add the mirror joint tool to your shelf if you like. So we'll mirror that over to the right side. Okay. All right, so to finish up, we can go ahead and work on set driven keys. So let's go ahead and start with our left side. We'll use those same values for the right. I'll go ahead and grab the buttock bone, head over to animate, set driven key, set options, and we'll load that, or make sure it's loaded as the driven object. And the driver, of course, is going to be our thigh. So we'll want to lock down the rotate Z of our buttocks bone by the rotate Z of our thigh bone. At the same time, we also want to control the scale X of this buttocks bone. So what I'll do in the driven section is grab rotate Z and also scale X. And then in the driver section, we'll want to make sure we grab the rotate Z. Now we can set an initial pose. All right, great. So at this point, it's just a matter of taking our leg control. Let's go ahead and start to move this up. I'll lock down the X axis so we only move in the Y and Z as we bring this up. Your values don't have to match mine perfectly. Here's about a value of 86 or so. That range would work in the z-axis from, let's say, about 83 to 86. All right, so once this is brought up, let's go to our buttocks bone, and we'll start to rotate this down slightly, let's say to about a value of negative 18. And for our scale, we'll go ahead and scale the bone out just slightly, let's say to about 1.3. All right, so once we have these values in, we can now go ahead and choose set key. What we'll now do is take the leg and go ahead and bring it behind the character. Let's go ahead and take a look at our thigh value, about 64. That'll work out. So now we can go to our buttocks bone and go ahead and lift that up slightly, let's say to about a value of 15, and we'll use that same scale value of 1.3. Let's go ahead and set our keyframe and take a look at our 
bone's behavior. So there we have it. You can see how it starts to kind of rotate as the leg moves. So this is going to work out wonderfully. All right, so it's just a matter of doing the same thing on the opposite half. So let's go ahead and grab our right thigh. We'll go ahead and load that as the driver. We'll grab our buttocks bone on that side and load that as the driven. Grab the rotate Z of the right thigh and we'll grab the rotate Z and the scale X of the buttocks bone. Set our initial key. We can now grab our animation control and go ahead and move that up. Animation control for the leg. Check its value. That's going to work out just fine. It doesn't have to be the exact value that we used on the opposite half. All right, so next, it's just a matter of now going to our buttocks bone, rotating that to a value of negative 18 in our scale set to 1.3. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe. We can now go ahead and bring the leg behind the character. Let's take a look at our leg's value. All right, close enough. So now it's just a matter of going to our buttocks bone and putting in a value of 15 in the rotate Z and 1.3 in our scale X. Great. All right. As always, we want to test things out. So let's go ahead and start to move these around. Looks great. All right. Well, that's going to finish our buttocks rig. So if we've already double checked to make sure everything has been added to our character sets, we then want to just double check to make sure everything is functioning properly. So you'd want to take time and make sure everything is, is good to go on your end. That way we can get right into binding the character, which we will do in the following lesson.